Does your Twitch channel look like this? If it does, we need to fix that immediately. So make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to make sure that we get your profile looking cool. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make Twitch panels for your Twitch channel to show you how to stream on Twitch in style. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on this video so this Yoshi doesn't cry. He's not going to be able to sleep, and you don't know how hard it is to get this guy to sleep. But enough talking, let's get straight into making the Twitch panels. So as you can see right now, we're on our new Twitch channel right here. We don't have anything in our About section. We have no panels. The only thing we have is, I'm a good streamer, please follow me. Let's change this up a little bit and add some Twitch panels. First thing you want to do, if you don't know how to get to this page, just go into the top right corner when you're logged in, click on Channel, and then all you have to do is click on the little chat button right here. And then if you scroll down, then you can see this edit panels button right here. And that's where we're going to be doing all of the editing for the panels. So click on this little edit panels button right here. We have our first panel, but if I remove it, this will probably look similar to your blank one. So what you want to do is click this little plus button space right here. And you have the option of adding a text or image panel or extension panel. I'm going to be going over both of these in this video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end to learn which ones are which. But let's keep it easy and start by adding a text or image panel. So what you can see here is a panel title. So if we type an about right here that'll be the title of the panel and if i type in the description my name is cody go ahead and click submit and then if you want to preview what your channel looks like just go ahead and click edit panels button in the top left corner right there and then now you can see in bold it says about and then it says my name is cody but we actually want to make it look nice so let's go back and click edit panels and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually get rid of the title right here under panel title keep this blank so let's actually add an image but let's actually go ahead and make one first so let me show you how i make my twitch panels so you can do this in any photo editor you can use paint but i'm going to be showing you the one that i like to use the most so i'm going to go into a new tab and type in pixlr, P -I -X -L -R .com forward slash X. By the way, sometimes the website looks different if they have an update, but it's the same exact process. If things look different, it's the same process. Just go ahead and look for it and just follow along at home. Click on create new. Right over here on this right side, we can change the name to Twitch panels. And then I'm going to make the width 320 because that's going to be the max size that you can make any of your Twitch panels in terms of width. But you can make the height to be whatever you'd like. So if you want like a square, you'd obviously do 320 by 320. The most popular are like the little the little ones that kind of look like labels. I find the best height for me happens to be 70 pixels. So my width is going to be 320 pixels and my height is going to be 70 pixels. Once we have that there, let's go ahead and click create. And then now you can see this is going to be about the size of the about panel that I'm going to be making right now. But we're to be making all of our panels here so let's go ahead and do that first things first i want a background here if you want to just do like a solid background which i don't recommend you can just go ahead and click on draw on the left side and then the shape tool and then you can pick a color like red and then now i can click on like the little square here and i can just click and drag and then you have a red background and then you would add text over it but that looks kind of ugly so i'm going to control z or you can go to the bottom and click undo and what i'm going to do is actually go open up a new tab type in pexels p-e-x-e-l-s and then now i'm just going to go to the website and it's free stock photos so i'm going to type in let's say abstract background and then now all of these stock photos are free so you don't have to worry about it but i'm going to find something that kind of looks cool like a little pattern that i can use i actually really like the sunset over here so i'm going to just go ahead and click on the picture and then i'm going to actually right click on this this is one of the reasons i really like pixlr by the way you go ahead and click copy image address not copy link address copy image address so click that and then now go back to pixlr go on the left hand side click on add image click on url and then you're going to go ahead and control V or you can right click and paste and then click load. And then you can go ahead and click add current. So that's going to add our picture to the current little canvas that we got working on here. So now, as you can see, if I scroll out with the mouse wheel, that the picture is freaking huge and our panel is super small. So you can either just kind of drag it around and get the color scheme that you want. But I want it to be more clear and just more abstract. So in terms of like the color changing. So I'm going to actually make this a little smaller and just kind of get it to right about there. I think that is actually a good, that's like a good little blend of colors that I like. So this is going to be the main foundation of our panels. So then now we want to add our text. So if you go to the left hand side, click on add text and the very top, you can click add text with the default text. So click that. And then in the text, I'm going to start off with an about panel. So I'm just going to type about in all caps and I'm going to go ahead and click a font. Honestly, you can pick any font that's going to stand out nicely. I happen to like uh, one called Daddy Day because it's just you can read it very easily. But if you notice these little like yellow boxes here, that means you have to pay for it. So just pick the free fonts. So I'm going to go and click Daddy Day. And then now 
you can click on this little this little box here and if you're having trouble grabbing the text actually go to the right hand side and click on the layer for it so click on that we can move around the layer pretty much freely as we'd like let's go ahead and scroll down here i'm going to make it a little bit bigger maybe about 64 about maybe that looks kind of good and then you can just click and drag until it fits and snaps in the middle right there but you can't really see that too well i'm going ahead and make it a little bit more clear so as you can see i clicked off my layers but if you hover your mouse over like i click on this then i can edit the background for it so i can move that around but i just want to edit the text so what i'm going to do is just click on the text again and then i'm going to scroll down and what we can do is we can click bold. I'm not going to do bold because I have a way that I think it looks better. So scroll down and go to outline. And I'm going to drop down the little menu here. I'm going to make it uh, black. So I'm just going to go ahead and click black. And then scroll down. I'm going to make the size probably all the way to max. And then now I'm going to just click on the, the picture over on the side. And then I'm going to scroll in. You can see that it's a little pixelated because we are scrolled in and zoomed in very, uh, very closely. But I just want to make sure that it's about center to what I would like. And now I'm going to scroll out. And now we have our about panel right here. So let's go ahead and click save. And then I'm just going to call it Twitch About Panel. Make sure that the size is small enough for you to be able to do it. I believe the max picture size is 2.9 MB. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click PNG. And it's 12, almost 13 kilobytes. So we're, we, we're fine. We're completely fine. So let's go ahead and click Download. And now it'll go download there. And then now what we can do is go back to our Twitch account. Go ahead and click Add Image. And then if you're on Windows, I'm not sure if you can do this Mac, but actually just right click this and then show in folder. And then it'll bring up your folder, which might happen to be here. And then you can just actually just drag it in there. And I'm going to click done. We can do submit just to save it. Give that a second to load. And then actually click on edit panels to preview it. So now we have this beautiful about panel right here with my name is Cody underneath it. So if we want to spice this up a little bit, let's make it more thorough. So I've added some text here. I'm going to click submit just so it looks a little more lengthy. And then we can go ahead and go back to edit panels. And now you can see we actually have a little bit of text here. So telling them what the stream is about, what my name is. Is, and then what to expect basically when they're watching the stream as you can see this text is pretty boring let's actually go ahead and add some bold text and then maybe add a link or two so go back edit panels and then let's go I want to bold the bottom part so in order to make bold text all you have to do is simply just go to the very beginning of the line and then add a little hashtag or a little pound sign depending on how old you are so let's actually add a link right now I'm gonna add my YouTube link is just go and add a bracket type in the text that you want them to see so I'll just type in YouTube channel and then I'll close the bracket and then immediately following that put parentheses and then the link to whatever you're trying to link and then I'm going to close it off with parentheses. So now we have the text that we want them to see in brackets and then right next to it we have parentheses of the actual link that they'll be clicking with the HTTPS and then we close off with parentheses. So we'll hit submit and then now if we preview it you can see we have our text right here. We got our picture bolded text here and then we have our link. So if I go ahead and click the link then you can see that it brings us to our YouTube channel which we wanted it to link so that's perfect but if you wanted to skip that and you actually wanted to actually have like a hyperlink that they can just if you hover your mouse over and it'll click about then it'll bring you that page then go back and then you can go to image links to and then the site so let me put in my website https cp oz music and then dot com and then submit so now if i go back and i preview it if i hover over my mouse you can now see that i can click it so i'll click it and it should bring us directly to my website which is right here so that's how you do that as well so now that we have our about panel let's go ahead and make a rules and donate panel just to like fill in the space here so let's go back and then we'll add another one by clicking this plus button right here we'll do add a text or image panel so now we need to make the image for it so let's go back over to pixlr i'll just close out of this but now if you just wanted to change like the text and keep everything Thing the same just click on the text layer right here and then if you get lost then go and click arrange and style in the top left and then click the text and you can see that you can edit it so I'm going to change this to rules in all caps and then I'm going to go ahead and click save so now we got a rules panel so now we have our donate picture here and if you want to link this to your actual donation page uh, by the way I have a video in the top right corner basically holding your hand walking you all the way through how to set up twitch donations you don't even need to be affiliated to get donations so watch that video and then come back if you don't have your donation link I'm just going to go ahead and post my donation link Link here and then I'm going to click submit submit make sure both of these are saved now let's click edit panels and then now we can see right here we got our about panel that we made earlier with my website over it and then rules there's no link attached to it so you can't click 
onto it. And then the top one was bolded because we put the pound sign right before that line of text. If you wanted this, you put the pound sign or in front of that line of text as well. And then now if we hover over the donate button, we can see that we can click it. I'll click it and it'll bring me to my donation page, which we set up in that video uh, that I mentioned earlier. Now we have a good foundation of what we have so far. Rinse and repeat with the process that I showed you. But now let's make this a little bit more spicy. So we're going to start adding some extensions. You can either just go ahead and pick some of these right here. Like I know I have my Twitter timeline on my previous page. Um, or you can just have latest followers or you can view all extensions. So let's do both. So let's go ahead and just do latest followers. So I'll click activate through this little quick activation tab. You can go ahead and configure this. It um, doesn't really matter. You can just change the different settings, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to activate it. You can see that it popped up right here. So if I actually cancel out of this, then you can see that I have my recent followers list right here. But if you wanted to move around panels, like let's say I wanted this in the middle and then donate to be like the bottom, I would actually go ahead and click this and you can actually click and drag these to be able to space them accordingly. So now latest, it'll say about the panel and then I'll have the latest followers extension then the rules and then the donate below the about so if I go out of here you can see that now we have switched up the order of the different panels that you can do so now if we wanted to add a different extension let's go ahead and click this click extension panel and then you can click on extension manager and that'll just bring you to your creator dashboard where you click on extensions and this is basically where you can just kind of like look at it you can go and go ahead and click on discovery and they have so many different extensions that you can do some only if you're affiliated and some if you're not affiliated but I'm just gonna pick some pretty easy ones that we can just quickly go through so let's do streamlab stream schedule and countdown I like this one a lot so we'll go ahead and click configure after we installed it and then now you can change the color of basically your schedule it's gonna be a live countdown timer of when you're gonna be live next so if you don't have a schedule please make a schedule I have a video in the top right corner of a bunch of different ways on how to grow your stream by the way to touch on that if you guys are wondering why my hair is so short we actually cut it live on stream I had chat help me cut my hair so if you guys want to join our twitch streams all the stupid things that go on I'll leave a link in the description down below to the twitch channel let's go ahead and we know that I stream Monday Tuesday Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, Central America, Chicago, so that's close enough. And then what you can do is add your time. So I stream on Monday at about 7 p.m. This is an army time, so 7 p.m. would be, quick math here, 19. But I want to give them a little heads up, so I'll do 18 at like uh, 55. And then you just rinse and repeat for Tuesday and Wednesday. Save settings right here. X this out. Go ahead and click on activate, and we'll set as a new panel. So add as new panel and then click done. So now if we go back, click on the top right corner and then go to channel. You can also have this in a separate tab that would probably be more convenient. Go to chat, scroll down, and then now you can see that we have our Streamlabs countdown timer here when we go live next. Doesn't show Tuesday and Wednesday because I was too lazy to add the times, need to add the times, but let's go ahead and move this to the bottom. So click edit panels, click and drag this, and we'll bring it all the way to the bottom next to latest followers. And then we can actually get rid of this extension panel. You can go ahead and add the extensions manually here. But now you can see we got our about, we got our rules, donate, and then you can click on everything. We got some extensions here. Design it to the way that you want it to do. Make it look nice and squeaky clean. Now that you know how to make your own Twitch panels, feel free to make as many free Twitch panels as you'd like. This channel is all about helping brand new streamers just like you. So if that sounds good, make sure to drop a sub and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. If you guys need new streaming gear, I'll leave links in the description down below of everything that I would recommend. I'll leave some videos right here and there that I think are going to help you and I'll see you in the next one.